Have you ever considered that it's not your aim keeping you back, but your mouse skates who are? Which mouse skates you actually use makes a big difference, especially on a glass pad, which I will be focusing on in today's video. About 5 months ago I got myself some Superglide glass skates for my Logitech G Pro X Superlight because I wanted to try something new and had heard many good things about them until that point, for example that they just weigh faster and feel great. But back then I was still playing on a cloth pad which obviously has way more drag than a glass pad but with the Super Glide skates on my mouse it was still way faster than with some pre-applied stock skates. For the games I played at the time, like Valorant or PUBG, it was crucial to have some good control to precisely pre aim corners and get consistent flicks. And also, as probably everyone, I as well started on a cloth pad. As I got into aim wise, faster paced games like Overwatch or Apex Legends, where you instead of precise and flicky aim need rather smooth and fast aim with good tracking, I wanted to have an even lower friction mouse pad. I watched the Overwatch content creator Sleepy quite a lot and still do, but he has a glass mouse pad and that got me interested. I got super excited about the clips where he would just spin his mouse crazy fast because of the low friction surface the mouse pad provides. So I decided to buy a glass mouse pad myself that offered just what I was looking for. Super smooth inputs with technically no stutters and super low friction for fast mouse movement. So, for the pros, the mouse pad is just insanely fast and insanely smooth on top of that. Like, you can make the tiniest of micro adjustments with little to no starting power by just, you know, pushing in a general direction with like literally no like power at all. Because of that, you obviously do need way more stopping power and control over your actual aiming over your mouse movement because the mouse pad doesn't provide the control or the stopping power you would need. And another big pro would be that it's relatively easy to clean. You just like take these cloth towels like micro fiber, I don't know what they're called, before you like start your session, wipe away all the like ashes and dust and I don't know what kind of greasy shit you got on there. But yeah, after that you can just put your mouse back on and it works fine. But if you if you don't do that, it will sound horrible and also feel horrible because all the dust particles are getting in between your skates and your glass. And that's just that's just not nice. For the cons, as I said, you need to clean it regularly, like before you start a session, like every day, or take a break like one hour. After you come back, you will need to clean it again. As you can see, I, it is advised or I would say that you need a arm sleeve because otherwise your arm will just stick to the surface of the mouse pad because it's very cold and you will get very sweaty and you just won't be able to move your arm at all. But these things cost like 20 bucks, maybe 30, I don't know. So you need to see for yourself, I guess. Or it's just, if, if you can play without, or you just take your uh, sweater and just play like this, this would also be fine, I suppose. Like, I play like this sometimes, but most of the time I play like with my uh, arm sleeve on. And for the last and the biggest, like, downside of the glass mouse pad, at least in my opinion, the mouse pad will eat or insanely fast wear down your skates and yeah that's why i'm making this video to test out which skates to buy i don't know if you can see it actually oh yeah, yeah there you can see it like there's already a lot of wear on there and i'm just like using this for like the last week but the edges are already like gone i thought this was going to be an easy process go online buy a glass pad done but it wasn't quite as easy as that due to problems I encountered like poor information. Prior to getting a glass pad, I had not looked up what to pay attention to at all, like what skates to buy, because who would have guessed that glass on glass doesn't work at all. For some reason I just thought that fast plus fast must be even faster, right? But that was just not the case. Because of that I needed new skates. But there were so many options. 
I didn't know which skates to get because there were so many different ones. My solution was just to buy a bunch of different ones to see which ones would work best. In a subreddit I read that the tiger eyes or the core pads would be the best but as it turned out that was not the case. At the time I only had one mouse and I didn't want to remove the glass skates I already had on my mouse because I didn't even know whether or not I was going to like the feeling of the mouse pad. Next problem I had was that on most skates there's a protective plastic foil to prevent the skates from getting scratches. On the first skates I forgot to remove this foil entirely. The reason I'm making this video is to compare and also find out what the best kinds of skates for glass mouse pads are. But everyone obviously has a different preference about speed, stopping power and the feeling of the skates. So I try to be as objective as possible. But my goal is obviously to go as fast as possible. I tested every skate over a period of one week. I bought nine different skates in total and separated my evaluation criteria in removability, material, velocity and thickness and also sound and packaging but these are some minor criteria because I think most people won't really care about them. I tested all the skates only on glass pad to find out which ones are the fastest. So because I made so many mistakes while putting on the skates for the first time I'm gonna show you how to do it properly. Here's how. On my first try I only removed one layer of the skate so that the next skates I would apply would be uneven which has a major impact on the performance, friction, smoothness but also on the feeling of the skates. You need to remove literally everything so that you'll be able to see the little grit beneath the stock skates. Also make sure to turn off your mouse because it messed up a lot of things on my computer. Okay, first of all grab a thin not necessarily sharp something i had this little plastic thingy here lying around so i used that then remove the previously applied skates maybe there's dog skates maybe you had some different ones but yeah be careful not to scratch the surface as it will make it uneven which has a great influence on the performance of the next skates now as a last step Take the provided alcohol pads and clean up the remaining glue. Finally, adjust and put on the new skates. Make sure that there are no dust particles under there and squeeze the remaining air out so that you have a tight fit and the skates will hold on to your mouse. Either you're done now or you still need to remove the little protective film or little protective foil on the skates which you just like peel off like some kind of fruit like a fucking orange or I don't know. What am I saying? Anyways, let's introduce our contestants first. They range from 669 to 24 euros. With the least expensive ones being the X-ray pads and the most expensive one being the Oni Aim skates. There are nine skates in total. I don't know why, but I put the removability or rather how much you need to clean up after removing the skates first. Here, the only ones I really had trouble with were the core pads and the P Z Z I F A, whatever. All the other ones were easy to remove with the pricier ones getting gradually better. Next up, the material. So that means the wear on each skate after one week. Here, the IT skates were by far the worst and the Heretic nearly taking no damage at all. They are all made of PTFE with the cheaper ones having sharp edges, although that didn't seem to affect the performance. But because of the sharp edges, they were a little thinner, which did feel different. But I'm not certain whether I played better or worse on them. But because of the sharp edges, there wasn't getting as much dust underneath the skates as on the rounded ones. Finally, the most important aspect, the speed. I tested the speed with a hairdryer and stopped the time as soon as the mouse was off the mouse pad. And to get right to the point, the cheapest skates I've tested turned out to be the fastest. Those being the X-Ray pads at only 875 milliseconds. But sure enough, after them come the Oni Aim skates, the most expensive ones, at 917 milliseconds. And just to remind you, 1000 milliseconds are one second. But what shocked me the most was the Tiger Eyes 
at the absolute last place, not even being able to get off the mouse pad. And the core pads were about 200 milliseconds slower than the X-ray pads. The ones with the textured surface had gotten my hopes up and I guess they performed quite well by matching the Oni Aim skates. As for the sound test, I'm just going to give you an example of every skate. As I already mentioned, be careful when purchasing the skates with how many pairs are in there overall. But I think the best unboxing experience overall were on the DPS skates. The Oni Aim skates had nice but kind of useless gimmicks, like this file for whatever reason. All the other ones were pretty basic. As a conclusion, I would definitely recommend the X-Ray ones, as they are the fastest by far and at the incredibly low price of only 969, oh my God. you can't go wrong with them. They also held up quite good with a Leguan exquisite opinion score of 7 out of 10 durability. Um, so I'm editing the video right now and I was just looking up the uh, x-ray pads on Amazon and I couldn't find them in a single, like as a single skate. There's only a bundle for like 14.50. Yeah, I don't know. I bought them for 6.69. That sums up my past four months of just going through and editing a bunch of mouse skates. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the best skates for your glass pad. I can't thank you enough for watching as this is my first ever video. There will be more videos in the future, but for now I'm thankful for any feedback, but be certain that the best skates will never fix the worst aim. Lego one fact one. Green iguanas have a two inch penis and way more bitches than you. Bye!